you're four to eight weeks postpartum after having a C-section and you're wondering what exercises you can be doing to help get your abdominal muscles back working the way that they should be for you. This video is for you. My name is Dr. Brooke Kalisiak. I'm the owner of Legacy Physical Therapy, and I'm a pelvic physical therapist who's passionate about helping C-section moms get back to doing activities that they love and feeling strong in their core after their delivery. So let's get right into the three exercises that we can be doing to help rehab our abdominal muscles after having a C-section. Now, if you haven't done so already, I would recommend watching video one and video two in this series so that you have a good foundation before jumping right into these exercises. These videos can be found right here. Um, so if, like I said, if you haven't done so already, watch video one and video two in this series first and then come back to this particular video because these are a little bit more advanced than those first exercises and you wanna make sure that you can be doing those beginner exercises first before jumping into some more advanced ones. Now that we're in the second month postpartum after your C-section, you can probably handle a little bit more stress and strain to the abdominal muscles. So we're gonna show you a little bit more advanced abdominal exercises. This first one is called a toe tap, but it starts the same as all of our past ones, where we're gonna do that nice little inhale, exhale, tighten. Then we're gonna bring one leg up and hold it with our hand because we're gonna lift the second leg up. Good, and then that second leg is just gonna tap down the toe and back up. And we can do multiple in a row if we can stay connected to the core or if we feel like we need to reconnect to those abs, we stop, we do that inhale, exhale, tighten, and tap that toe down and back up, down and back up. We wanna try and do 10 on one side and then switch our hands over to tap down and do 10 on the other side. Our second exercise that puts a little bit more stress and strain through the abdominal wall is a straight leg raise. So like before, we're gonna do our core connect breath where we inhale, exhale, pull in our belly and our pelvic floor. We're gonna keep that pulled in as we lift and lower the straight leg up and down. And again, if you can keep it connected, keeping the tummy pulled in, not holding your breath or letting your belly bulge, you can do multiple reps in a row if you need to, stop and reset by doing that inhale, exhale, tighten, and then start the reps again. And another good goal for it is doing two sets of 10 repetitions on each leg. Our third exercise is more of a combination for our buttocks and our abdominal muscles. We're going to do a bridge exercise. We are still gonna start out with our core connection breath where we inhale, Exhale, tighten the deep abdominals and pelvic floor. And now we're gonna squeeze our butt muscles and lift our butt up off the ground at comfortable range. Hold for a few seconds and come back down. In the beginning, you might not lift up very high and that is okay. You can work towards lifting up higher as you go as long as it's not causing pain. You wanna work towards holding that bridge position for anywhere from a couple seconds up to five to 10 seconds to challenge yourself a little bit more, but you only wanna do that hold for longer as long as you can keep breathing and you don't feel your tummy muscles bulging out. So again, each time core connect breath, squeeze those buttocks muscles to lift that butt up in the air, hold for a few seconds and come back down. And we're gonna try and go for two sets of 10 of this exercise. How did you like those exercises? Hopefully you felt like they were a little bit more of a challenge to the abdominal and core muscles. So just to recap, we did a toe tap exercise, we did a straight leg raise, and a bridge exercise. With each of these exercises, you should be able to do that core connect breath where we inhale, exhale, tighten the abdominal muscles, keep those abdominal muscles tight as we perform the movement. If you feel like you hold your breath, your belly bulges out, or you're feeling any pain performing these exercises, you need to stop and go back to earlier exercises that are a little bit less challenging and making sure that your core muscles are ready to do these ones. But they can be a wonderful way to start progressing your abdominal muscles, 
make sure to check out our next video where we are going to be going over some exercises that you can be doing in different positions like hands and knees or like on your side to challenge the postpartum core even further. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it informative. We put out weekly content on pelvic health topics because we want people to be able to optimize their pelvic health throughout their lifetime. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel so that you're alerted when our next video becomes available.